Hi Gemini, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your weekly love reading for November 27th through December 3rd. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. I have to remind you this may not resonate with you because it is for the general audience. It's not a private reading, okay? I have pre-shuffled this deck so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. And I will focus the camera in once I get the cards laid out. Alright, the basis of your reading is the Ten of Pentacles reversed. So there may be some bickering going on at home, you know, in your family. Something could be going on. There could be some tension. There could be some conflicts. Either people could be like competing with each other for attention. You know, there's just some conflicts probably on the home front. Alright. But your, your mothering, you know, is stable and secure. So what you've been doing is right. So just keep doing what you've been doing. Even if the kids are fighting or whatever the case is. I mean, there seems to be some kinds of some bickering going on. Could be within a relationship too as well. But there is some kind of, you know, little pettiness. Petty conflicts, okay? But, you know, I think that's that's beyond the, the point of this reading, but I just had to throw that out there. This is intended to be a love reading. It feels like people are growing farther apart. All right, they are, they're growing farther apart. Somebody wants to be in control. Somebody could be manipulative. Um, yeah, yeah, there's some cold, angry energy around, and I'm not sure who that is, but somebody is feeling pretty cold hearted. Whether it's you or somebody in your life, there's like some animosity here. Definitely in your life, whether it's you or the other person, it feels like there is some, there's a lot of challenges this week. I'm sorry. I am. This is, this is not the best, the best uh, love reading. I think that something is crumbling down. There's been some kind of shock or crash or, you know, some kind of breakage in regards to a relationship something has broken apart and it's bringing some challenges some trials and some conflicts into your life it feels like you may be feeling like you don't even know what to do if you even want to stay in this situation at all you may feel like running away you know but i have to encourage you we just look how far you've come okay I see that you're on the edge. You're on the edge of probably breaking yourself, you know, just having a mental breakdown. But, you know, dig deep because some, this is all happening for a reason. Something is happening for a reason. It's going to bring you to a better place in the long run. All you have to do is have faith that this is happening for a reason. Okay, it's going to make you more stable and secure than, than you once were, even though right now it's very challenging. There's some probably some revengeful, vindictive um, behavior, you know, so just just beware and, and keep your eyes open because you may not even see it coming. All right. It looks like something is going on behind the scenes and they may, may be some kind of um, shock that comes in that puts you right on the edge. I mean, you may you may think, you know what? I'm gonna break down or I'm gonna I'm gonna flip out you know you might have a flip out session of some sort you know I think that somebody is trying to manipulate trying to control um, probably maybe t being very stubborn hot-headed and they're, it's like they're trying to break people apart and you know this okay there's definitely a, a breakdown here somebody's trying to break somebody up and I'm, it's it's very hurtful um, it's just very negative. Somebody is very negative in your life and they're trying to bring it down. And that's what I got to say about that. So I need to tell you, the world card is your outcome. That's great. There, There is 
an end in sight, okay? There is. You will be able to call this successful in the end. Trust me. Trust me. This is teaching you something. You're learning something big. These trials, these challenges, these conflicts, they're making you stronger. Please don't quit. Keep doing what you're doing. You've made a lot of progress. You're on the right path, and you are very respectable for who you are, okay? All you have to do is be willing to change or be willing to accept the truth, okay? Just be willing to accept the truth. And if other people don't have to accept your truth, that's fine, okay? That's fine. But you believe in yourself and you will prevail, okay? Keep doing what you're doing. I might not label this a love reading. I think I'm going to label it just a tarot reading because I think that things are a little chaotic this week. I think somebody has come in and they're trying to break things up. You know, they're trying to cause some problems. And, you know, you may be at your breaking point. So, you know, there's some cold, cold energy here. Somebody is very angry and upset and they're feeling vindictive. So something's going on behind the scenes and something could happen out of the blue. I'm not trying to scare anybody. I'm just, you know, want you to know that, you know, somebody is not happy. So, okay. So right above this fool is the tower card. Whatever this breakdown is, whenever it happens, and it may hurt, it may cost you money, it may be a shock, I'm not sure what it is, but this breakdown that comes out is going to force a new beginning. So it really is a blessing in disguise. It's going to force you to have faith where you may have lost some of your faith, okay? It's going to force you to have faith in something, okay? It's going to force you to somebody to heal, whether they like it or not. Right now, somebody's hurt really, really, really bad, and, and they can't heal from it. But this is going to force some healing, so rest assured. I have to let you know that we have consequences here, and we've had consequences quite a bit for quite a few of the other signs. The Seven of Cups and the Lovers, those both speak of consequences. Be um, aware of the consequences in how you react, okay? Okay. Be careful. What you own, owns you. So really think twice about your reactions and what you do and what you choose. Especially with the lover's card. Be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. Okay? Whether you're, this is with a lover or with a family member. Be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. If you stay stuck in your current predicament, then you be prepared to live with those consequences. If you, if you move forward and you're looking for somebody else and you move forward with somebody else, be prepared to live with those. Really think about the consequences of your actions this week, especially with the Seven of Cups right next to it, okay? There will be consequences either way, either way. So really think twice about the words you speak, how you react, what you do, what you don't do. Really analyze the situation before you do something, okay? Because things are going to happen so fast that you might react, okay? Because some things could happen out of the blue, unexpectedly, you know, that it's going to change everything, okay? So change is on the horizon. It's going to, some truth is about to come out and it's going to hurt and somebody's not going to like the truth and that's what I see. And it has to, it could have to do with your children. It could have to do with your kids. It could have, well, it's children, kids, same thing. It could have to do with your relationship. Some truth is going to come out that might, somebody ain't going to like it. Put it that way. And it's going to force somebody to start something, to ha take a leap of faith. To have faith and to take a risk and to start over. Okay? So I think this week is about, it's very challenging. It's definitely a challenging week. Um, and it's going to force somebody to start a healing process. All right. So, Gemini, 
There could definitely be a change in your residence. You know, somebody could be moving in, somebody could be moving out, or this could be a whole lot of chaos at home, you know, something crazy happening at home, all right? Just want to make you aware of that. If you are single, somebody could enter your life. There could be a new lover that comes in, um, could come in out of the blue changes everything if you are single I really feel like this is something else though I think this is about consequences of your actions um, and your choices really do you want to move forward or do you want to stay where you are you definitely have a decision to make a choice to make regarding your future this may be the week that you do it you may get some help making that choice because the tower is here and that tells me that something is going to happen that is going to, you know, force a change. A change is going to be forced. I'm just shuffling my Whispers of Love deck. I'm going to give you one of these. Ooh, that is a good one. Number 38, it says, honesty is essential. It is, absolutely. To be a loving person, it is important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner. Love seeks to do what is best for another person. Speak honestly. Tell the truth about your emotions. Use this as an opportunity to clear the air and turn this into a positive outcome. <laughs> Somebody isn't going to like the truth. Speak it anyway. Speak it anyway, and it is going to force a change. It's going to force healing. Whether you like it or not, you speak the truth, and that's when the healing will begin. So Gemini, this is for you. If you want to know more about me, you can watch my Let's Talks, join my group, or subscribe, watch my welcome video, whatever you want. Talk to you later.